You can take Annie and Clarabelle out on Thomas's branch line. Oh, thank you, sir. Emily was very pleased. Back at Tidmouth Sheds, Thomas was very bored. I wish I had something to do. I don't know why you don't like this snowplow, Thomas. Clearing snow is great fun. Really? And now I get to take Annie and Clarabelle out on your branch line. Thomas was very surprised. But they're my coaches. That's my job. You can't go out today, Thomas. Not without your snowplow. Thomas watched as Emily was coupled up to Annie and Clarabelle. See you later, Thomas. Bye, Thomas. Hope your snowplow turns up soon. Thomas wasn't happy at all. He wished he could go out in the snow with Annie and Clarabelle. Then Thomas had an idea. If I get my snowplow, Sir Topham Hat will let me pull Annie and Clarabelle. So Thomas puffed quietly away. Thomas looked for the siding where he had left his snowplow, but none of the sidings had been cleared. They were all covered in snow. They all looked the same. Oh no! The snow has covered up my snowplow and hidden it. Thomas didn't want to go back to the shed. He wanted to pull Annie and Clarabelle in the snow. Maybe I don't need my snowplow. After all, Emily has cleared my line. So Thomas puffed away to find Emily. Then there was trouble. It started to snow again. I must find Emily. I must find Emily. Thomas puffed as hard as he could through the falling snow. But the snow was getting thicker and thicker. And soon, Thomas was well and truly stuck. Oh, no! The snow kept falling. It got higher and higher. Oh, help! I wish I hadn't hidden my snowplow now. Thomas thought he would be stuck all day and all night. His footplate was frosty and his funnel was freezing. <sighs> no one will ever find me here. Then, Thomas heard some chuffing and puffing. I wonder who that could be. to see you. Thomas, what happened? Are you stuck? We went to look for you in the shed, but you weren't there. Sir Topham Hat looked cross. Thomas, you were told not to go out without your snowplow. I'm sorry, sir. I hid my snowplow, and now I can't find it anywhere. That's why we've been looking for you. We found your snowplow buried in the snow. Thank you, Emily. Sorry, sir. Thomas was very happy to have his snowplow back. From now on, I'll always wear my snowplow when it snows. I'm glad you've learned your lesson, Thomas. Tomorrow, you can clear the tracks for Emily. But before that... I've got something to show you. Follow me. <laughs> Thomas and Emily puffed through the snow. And soon, they arrived at the field where the children were playing. Wow! Look at all those snowmen. <laughs> I think that one looks very smart. Very smart indeed, sir. A snowman needs a hat in this weather. Oh. 